All right, so you're going to go to a big drawing show, go into arena show, strong out of town for a big event. One, get gas, make sure all your tool pass stuff's all loaded up, check your tires, make sure you're good to go car wise. Um, the biggest thing is making sure you have a full tank, cannot stress that enough. It makes it so much easier to trying to like rummage to go find a gas station, plus your car's just gonna run better too. Um, next step's gonna be is packing your bag. Now, everywhere I saw online, you could not bring a bag. I saw everywhere that everybody had bags. I don't, I don't understand the rolling on it. Um, I brought my vest and it has a bunch of pockets and I just loaded it up and then I had a bunch of like my, uh, my portable charger, my battery, my Lucky R2 and Lucky uh, Ewok. I had it inside of a Ziploc bag that I also had in my vest. So I had my, um, I have a pocket where I keep all my, my ID and my cards, which I need to get like one of those RF little protector thingamajigs for my cards, because that's just smart to do, but I need to get one of those and I'm dumb and I should already have one. Um, I might have one, I just gotta find one. And um, in my phone, and I keep my phone inside my actual, inside my vest pocket. If you see me, it's not there, it's in a magical spot uh, where you can't find it ever. Um, because I just, I know people can't use my phone, but I just don't wanna lose my phone. So it just sounds really, really annoying. Um, because my whole life is on my phone now. Yay, for the future. Uh, so, have your game plan where everything is on you. As well as, I, I only brought in my actual little keep file thingy because I have a fancy car now where I just have a little beep, beep, little button things. Um, so I made sure I knew where that was and I also made sure I set my alarm. I have a little bit of a tendency to make sure that I get everything right. So what I did is I was actually leave my car, made sure I had everything. And then I literally took video of me locking my car and alarming it. So let's take a photo of where my car was at, um, any cars around for being parked, and then as well as when I left, I actually visually check my car before I actually left the parking lot to make sure nobody hit it or don't, you know, got a ding on it, or if there's any issues or any type of weird notes left on stuff because human trafficking is real. So I took a look around just to make sure I was good to go, and I made sure to the park like on like the outskirts of it, and you visually you can see where I was parked from the elevator, the stairs just to keep myself safe, as well as I knew I had an exit plan, just in case there was anything I didn't feel safe coming to my car. I knew I could run and get away quickly versus being in the middle and stuck between cars and like, mm, you can't see them. I'm good. Um, the only thing I didn't do that I should have done, but I was fine when I was leaving because I just waited till the parking lot kind of died down before I left because I'm like sitting and, and, and to stop traffic because I drive stick and I'm good. Um, I'm fine. And I, I drive a car, it's turbo, and I need good gas mileage. And I'm not gonna sit there and wait and wait and wait. Uh, what I should have done is reverse park and be like a baddie because I had a camera now. Um, but I'm still getting used to that because I, before I drove like really, really old cars and I've never had a new car before. So I was like, oh my God, I told you we're gonna do this. But I waited until everybody left anyways so that I could leave so I don't worry about that. But that is something to keep in mind though. If you can reverse to park, so you can just park, let me pull out, do that, makes your life easier. Um, I'm gonna add more. Okay, bye.